Hey, restaurant managers. Today, I'm going to give you three tips on how you can advance quickly to general manager. Hey, everybody. Ryan Gronfin here, author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and founder of therestaurantboss.com, as well as Click Bacon and Scale My Restaurant. Dot com. So today is all about you, restaurant managers, all of you restaurant managers out there and aspiring restaurant managers out there. I know that one day you're going to want to advance from assistant manager to restaurant manager to general manager or whatever the position may be called. But I really want to make this as simple as possible. I think we all know the obvious things. A lot of hard work. It's going to take a, a few years, five, 10 years, depending on what type of restaurant or hotel you're working in. But the three tips I want to give you today are very important. And I think when you hear them, they're going to be obvious, but they're not as obvious as work hard, show up on time. I think these are going to be really, really valuable for you. So again, restaurant managers looking to advance your career to general manager and maybe even owner one day. So here you go. So my first tip is you must be able to quickly earn the respect of your team. You must be able to build a team. Now, Obviously, right? Again, I said some of these are going to be pretty obvious, but let's talk about that word respect for a moment here. Respect is not about, I will never ask anyone to do a job that I've never done myself. That is not what respect is about. I mean, sure, you got to be willing to work hard. You got to be willing to get in it with your team, but that is not what respect is. I'm going to make this as simple as possible for you. I have some other videos about respect that we'll put a link to up here in the card, but for right now, as simple as possible, respect is about you helping them achieve their goals. Most restaurant managers don't even know what the goals of their team members are. They don't know what their team members want. And to be honest, if your team members aren't telling you what they want, and even when you ask, they don't know, then step in and help them figure out what it is that they want, then help them achieve their goals. You're either in their way or you're on their team. Get on their team and help them instead of being in their way. So number one, you've got to have the respect of your team. Otherwise, there's never going to be the growth that you need. Number two, you have to be able to hold your team accountable. Now, I know this is sometimes a challenge for people because here on one hand, they're thinking, I need the respect of my team and my team's going to like me and respect me if I'm nice to them and if I accept their excuses and the reasons why they didn't, didn't do the things they said they're going to do. I can't be mean. I need their respect. Holding a team accountable and earning their respect are two completely different things. The people that you likely respect the most in this world are people that have held you accountable. They're people that have helped you reach your goals. They're people that have held higher standards for you than you even hold for yourself. When we talk about accountability, we talk about being strict, not mean. I don't ever want you to be mean. I don't want you to be rude. I don't want you to belittle any staff members. I don't ever want you to say a bad thing about your staff, but that has nothing to do with being strict. So I want you to think being strict, not mean, but you must hold your team accountable, which leads to number three is you have to be able to complete projects. At the end of the day, being a manager is about getting things done day by day, task by task. Sorry, day by day, task by task. My words, I don't know what happened there. You have to be able to complete projects or at least facilitate the completion of a project. You have to make sure that your team is doing the things they say they're going to do. You have to make sure that you're doing the things that you say you're going to do. If you are not completing the projects that are assigned to you, no one is ever going to give you more responsibility. So really quick here, let's recap. Number one, you got to earn the respect of your team and you got to earn it quickly if you want to grow fast. Number two, you still got to be able to hold that team accountable which leads to number three, which is you have to be able to complete projects and complete them on time. I know these might seem a little obvious or maybe less obvious, or you might have been looking for something totally different than this, but I'm telling you right now, if you're able to do these three things, the other stuff is going to be easy for you. You're going to advance from wherever you are right now to general manager faster than you think. Thank you and have a wonderful week. I look forward to bringing you another video just like this next week. Bye-bye. Want to improve your skills as a manager and make more money? 
Did you get handed the manager job and weren't given the support you need? Are you nervous about applying for a restaurant manager position? Managing restaurants, bars, and kitchens is not easy. I know, I have been there, I want to help. The difference between where you are now and where you want to be is a plan and some new tools. That is why I created the Restaurant Manager Certification. It's a boot camp for aspiring restaurant leaders designed to simplify your path to the top. Learn more at therestaurantboss.com forward slash manager. I hope you enjoyed this week's training video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you go ahead and smash the like button right up there so you can get notified every week when we release a new free training video. I've also gone ahead and put a couple of videos for you here and here that I think you're going to enjoy. Remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value and value creates scale. Manage systems, develop people, and be awesome.